tripod in an open, outdoor environment. Attach the DRTK2 mobile station onto the extension rod. Then mount the extension rod to the tripod. Mount the battery and secure the lock nut. Adjust the tripod according to the bubble level. Ensure that the bubble on the DRTK2's bubble level is centered in the black circle. Press and hold the power button to turn on the DRTK2 mobile station. And then the power status indicator will glow solid green. Press and hold the operating mode button to switch between different modes. Please link the aircraft with the DRTK2 mobile station while in mobile base station mode. Turn on the Matrice 210 RTK V2 aircraft and the remote controller. Check the connection state. Press the DRTK2 mobile station's link button and the indicator will blink red and green alternatively, indicating the DRTK2 mobile station is being linked. Open the aircraft's rear port protective cover and press the link button. If the DRTK2 mobile station's link indicator glows solid green, then the linking succeeded. If you are using the DRTK2 mobile station for the first time, there will be a There's a DJI Device Not Activated notification. Tap Activate to get started. You can also connect the DRTK2 mobile station to a PC to activate it. Connect the DRTK2 mobile station to the PC via a Type-C cable. Launch DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice. Click the DRTK2 icon. Then click Start Activation on the prompt to begin calibration. When Fixed Point shows after positioning on the RTK status page, the RTK is ready to carry out flight missions. You can also input the coordinates into the DRTK2 mobile station manually. Go to the RTK page, tap Advanced Settings, then select GNSS Coordinate Input. Now, you can manually input the DRTK2 mobile station's current position information. Tap Save. After the information has been successfully inputted, the system will save its current location information. Now you know how to set up the DRTK2 high-precision GNSS mobile station for the Matrice series.